Hello, how are you all today? This is Mama Roxy coming to you from her bed in her bedroom. You guys, I'm still under the weather. I wanted to come in and check with you and tell everybody hello. So you all won't be thinking that I'm too bad and I couldn't stop and say hello. Today's subject is family and relationships. I'm getting back to my makeup, but it won't be today. You guys, you're nothing without your family. I know we all go through something, right? And we all have arguments. That's what make our family so strong, you know? Oh, our kids run us crazy, honey. They always got something to say or something about something. But that's what we do. We argue, but we work it out. You know, um, our husbands or our boyfriends or our girlfriends or whatever the case may be, you argue with them and you talk to them, right? And you talk about what's ailing you or bothering you and you get it out the way. You don't keep harping on it and talking about it. No one likes a nag. No one. So the best thing to do is talk to them. Talk to him or her and tell them what you like and what you don't like. Tell them how you're feeling from your heart, you know. And then when you explain to them how it is, either they change. If they don't change, then that means it's time for you to change. Yes, it does. Sometimes it's better to let go of something than to keep going through some, some old crazy changes that that you don't have to. I believe that... Life is meant to live, to be lived. I believe that when you're in something, ain't nothing as hard as it's supposed, as hard as it seems. You know, you loving me, we gonna work it out. We gonna put everything in a, a good perspective. We gonna figure it out, make it work, and do what it is that we have to do for each other and for our family. And if a person can't do that, then they meant they're not meant for you. If a person cannot accept you and yours, then that means that he's not for you. Just like if you have children and you dating a man and he don't see them kids all the time. But when he do see them, he don't really want to be around. That's because he's not yours. That's because he don't have time for you. A man, if he wants to be around, he's going to accept your children and he's going to accept you. You are a package deal. That's the same thing to go for a woman. If you cannot accept that man and his kids, then you're not meant to be around. You're just there for, him, for, for what you can get from him. And he's there for what he can get from you. You got to, you got to recognize that, people. Um, family. You got to do the best you can. You got to love each other. Go through the struggles with your family. Be there. Talk to them. Eat with them. Conversate with them. Check them out. I've been doing that ever since they was little. I made time for them. Even when I was in the bath, they would come in and we would all talk about their day. I have four children, and I will give everybody individual time to figure out what was going on with them. How was they doing? What was going on in their lives? Because kids go through things, too. And it's up to us as parents to figure out what they're going through and let us try to help them and lead them. Because if you don't help them, somebody else will. And you know everybody else and is not going to give them no good advice. They're going to lead them down the wrong path and they end up in jail or end up in hurt or anything else. So you got to be there for them. You know, no matter what's going on in your life, you got to slow it down and you got to talk to them kids. You got to figure out what's going on in them, with them. You know, that's, they go through bullies, they go through all, love relationships and hate relationships and they just go through so much, more than we can ever think. Probably more than we ever went through in our days, you know what I'm saying? So, make time for them. Conversate with them. Uh, take them places. I don't care if you're walking in the park with them and ask them questions, honey. Check up on them. You know, let them know that no matter what's going on in your world, you are the most important person to me. And I love you no matter what. 
You have to talk to them and tell them. Same thing that go with your relationship. No matter what's going on in your world, honey, have date night. Make 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 time for that person. You know, do some old romantic, kinky love stuff with them. You know what I mean? Show them that you appreciate everything that you do for them. That way, you ain't got to worry about nobody else showing what you what you don't have time to do. Honey, make time. Make a little special meal. Have a picnic in a bed. Make a bubble bath and have a bubble bath together. It don't matter. Sit down and clip each other's toenails. Polish each other and make sure you conversate with him. Talk to him and her. Make sure you, 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 you let them know how much you love them, baby. I may not be able to show you all the time how much I love you, but I can show you right now how much I appreciate and how thoughtful and how much I think about you every single day. Let them know that you appreciate what you're doing to them, you know, or doing for them and what they're doing for you. So this is Mama Roxy telling you like it is mama roxy says and remember this i'm here for your pocketbooks your wallets and your purses and your hearts i'm here and we can talk about anything you like do what you like no matter how i'm feeling i'm calling i'm checking in with you guys from my bedroom (laughs) in my bed not my office today but that's okay That's how much I love you guys and appreciate you. And I'm thankful for everybody that checked in and uh, tuned in for 